The Queen's Beast. The White Greyhound of Richmond. Our first stop today takes us to Summit Lake State Park, located in central Indiana. And you are here. And here we are on the banks of Lake Summit. With the 10th and final release of the two ounce silver Queen's Beast, the White Greyhound of Richmond. This will be my final video of this series, putting a nice check mark in that box, unless of course, we decided to come out with a music video on it. I'm trying to twist winning image photography's arm on that. Let's talk about this white greyhound of Richmond. And I read this from the Royal Mint site. The greyhound. It's exceptionally fast, intelligent, and blessed with keen eyesight. Greyhounds were bred for hunting and coursing game. As one of the world's oldest breeds, dogs of this kind were present in Britain during the Roman occupation. They are also known to have been included in royal hunting packs as early as the 12th century. Hunting had a special prestige in the royal courts of the Middle Ages. Therefore, the Greyhound came to be considered a prestigious creature. It was viewed as having great physical fitness and skills. It was also associated with having great wealth and leisure. Until next year, Lake Summit, it's good to see you again. Quite tranquil around here. Let's head towards our next destination. Our very last stop for the Queen's Beast takes place right next to our home, White River, Delaware County, and you are here. Once again on the banks of the White River, Delaware County, Indiana, just a short little walk for winning image photography and I to take one last look at this white greyhound of Richmond, the last in the Queen's Bee series. So the white greyhound of Richmond first appeared as a royal beast during the reign of Edward III. He used a wide variety of heraldic badges, but the greyhound gained prominence amongst them when it first appeared on his great seal. The obverse of this seal has an image of the king flanked by two small shields of the royal arms, each with a greyhound standing beneath it. This design of the great seal was used as a model for many kings afterwards until Edward IV replaced the greyhounds with bulls. So that wraps up my little tidbits about the white greyhound of Richmond. I like to bring winning image photography into the conversation real quick. She has yet to speak on any of these Queen's Beast videos that uh, we've noticed. It's always been me. And I only bring her in because of what we're talking about, future plans for the channel. We really don't have an outlet or a way of telling anybody about future videos, projects, so forth. So I figured we'd use the time right now and let you know that we're probably going to be having a few less videos because we want to put some time into some of them, do some more storytelling. The days of me bringing out a coin in front of the camera and just showing off my latest purchase, I've been doing that for two years. I, it's getting a little stale. I want to try something a little different. We'll still go outside and we'll show you the great outdoors. Right. But for now, we're going to change it up just a little bit, go with some more music videos, uh, try to utilize that new camera hers a little bit more, do a little bit more storytelling. But I guess I just feel like I'm getting a little bit stale with just getting my latest purchases. So winning, it's time to take it in just a little bit of a direction, but still be the true us like we've always been. Yeah, and... This is going to be a sneak peek of some of the stuff to come. All right, everyone. It's going to bring this one to a close. Remember to like, subscribe. And all those other good things. We'll see you on the next video. Bye, everyone.